Hey everybody, I'm Matt Lim, and here's another trick you can do. Red on red, and black on black. Red to the front, black to the back. Black on red, and red on black. But with just a snap, they fly back. Red to red, and black to black. For this trick, you'll need a deck of poker-sized playing cards, two miniature decks of playing cards. You can purchase these at any party supply store, and you'll also need two paper clips. The secret to this trick is an extra playing card that your audience doesn't know about, and some simple sleight of hand that I'll teach you in a moment. To set up for this trick, you're gonna need a duplicate matching black card from one of your miniature decks. You're gonna place this onto the back of your red cards, and once you're set up like this, you're ready to present the trick. As your hands come over and pick up the red cards at the beginning of the trick, you'll rest the thumb of your right hand on top of the miniature card like you're going to pull it off. But as your thumb rests on top of that miniature card, what you're gonna do instead is rotate your hands towards yourself and use the fingers of your right hand to pull off the card already on the back of the red cards. Done at speed, it should look as though you pulled the red card off the front and placed it onto the back. Practice this move until you're very comfortable doing it. You should be able to do it multiple times in a row without messing up. If you turn your hand too slowly or you pull a card off too quickly, you can give away how the trick is done and that's no fun for you or your audience. The rest of the trick is self-working. Switching the positions of the miniature cards does nothing since they're both the same card. At the end of the trick, you're gonna perform the same move a second time to show that the cards have flown back to their original positions. Always perform the sleight of hand move first when moving the positions of the miniature cards. This is when the audience is least expecting a move. In general, audiences tend to pay closer attention the second time they see an action. The act of really moving the black miniature card from one side of the poker card to the other should look identical to the sleight of hand move that you do with the red cards. The closer these two actions match, the stronger the illusion. Contrary to popular belief, sleight of hand does not need to be performed quickly. It has to be performed smoothly. So slow down, take your time, and make your movements as natural as possible. The greatest thing about this trick is that once you're done performing it, you're automatically reset to perform it again. Just don't perform it twice in a row for the same person, or they may catch on to how you do it. For more tricks you can do, visit the Kids Corner at funnymagicforkids.com and click subscribe if you'd like to receive all of my latest videos. Until next time, I'm Matt Lem. Thanks for watching.